In this video, we'll go over how to use the VCBA S2 software to control a connected Vanguard circuit breaker analyzer and perform various tests. For our first example, we will be performing an open test. To start running the test, click on the Run icon in the test command group. The top section of this window shows where the test tracker will be saved to once the test is completed. If you'd like to choose a different location, click on the folder icon to the right. You can type a file name prefix in the file name input field. This can be any text that will be helpful to help you in identifying your test records. If you would like the date to be added to the file name, check the Add Date checkbox. Also, to ensure that file names are unique, check the Add 001 to ensure uniqueness checkbox. From the Shot tab section, click on either the Open, Close, Open, Close, Close, Open, or Open, Close, Open radio button. For this example, we will click on the Open radio button. Select the desired timing window from the timing window options. Next, select the trigger type from the trigger type options. For this example, we will use an internal trigger. From the insertion resistor radio group, select the desired insertion resistance value. Once you have configured the test parameters, click on the OK button. The VCBA S2 software will now communicate with the unit and start performing the test. Once the test is complete, the data will be downloaded to the computer and saved to the hard drive at the location you had selected. In our next example, we're going to be performing a static resistance test. First, click on the Run icon in the Test Command group. From the File Information section, click on the Folder icon and select the folder on your computer where you would like to save the test record. You can type a file name prefix in the File Name Input field. This can be any text that will be helpful to you in identifying your test records. If you would like the date to be added to the file name, check the Add Date checkbox. Also, to ensure that file names are unique, check the Add 001 to ensure uniqueness checkbox. From the Shot Type section, click on the Static Resistance Radio button. Select the desired timing window from the Timing Window options. Select the Trigger Type from the Trigger Type options. In this case, we'll be using an internal trigger. From the Insertion Resistor Radio group, select the desired insertion resistance value. Make sure the Dynamic Resistance option is not checked. Once you have configured the test parameters, click on the OK button. The VCBA S2 software will then communicate with the unit and start performing the test. Once the test is completed, the test results will be retrieved to your computer. If you're using a CT8000 or CT8000S3, you can perform a dynamic resistance test using the VCBA S2 software. To start running the test, click on the Run icon in the Test Command group. From the Type Radio Box group, select the Breaker operation. We will select Open for this example. From the Timing Window radio box group, select 1 second. The 1 second timing window should always be used since it provides the required adequate resolution, which is plus or minus 50 microseconds for dynamic tests. From the Trigger Type radio box group, select the Trigger Type. We will use an internal trigger for this example. From the Insertion Resistor radio box group, select the desired insertion resistance value. Next, check the Dynamic Resistance checkbox. Once you have configured all test parameters, click on the OK button. The VCBA S2 software will communicate with the connected unit and start performing the test. The test results will be retrieved to your computer once the test is complete. When the test results are retrieved for a Dynamic Resistance test, the last graph page shows the Dynamic Resistance graph. Press the Page Down key till you see page 6 displayed at the top right corner of the graph window. In this example, the magenta plot is the dynamic resistance graph. The VCBA S2 software also provides a convenient method for performing timing tests by using a test plan. If a test plan is used, the pass-fail indicator will be displayed based on the settings in the test plan. To use a test plan, click on the Use Plan icon in the Test Plan command group. Once you have located the test plan file to use, click on the file name to select it and then click on the OK button. The test plan will be loaded and displayed on the screen. Start a circuit breaker timing test per the instructions in the beginning of this video. When the test is completed, the test results will be compared with the settings in the test plan. The pass-fail indicator will be displayed based on the results of the comparison. Please note that once a test plan is used, it will stay active for the rest of the session, even if the actual test plan file is closed. If you no longer want to use the test plan with a test, Close and restart the VCBA S2 software.